Hi, my name is Kevin, and uh, my pronouns are he, him, they. I was born here in Albuquerque, and I've lived here most of my life. Um, at times I lived in like Las Lunas or Belen. I lived in uh, Northern California for a few years, but this is my home. I think the study of races and racism is very, <clears throat> very important. Um, I think if we learn, start learning about these things at a, a young enough age, it helps in our development of empathy and we, we learn that it seems we're taught, and I think it mentioned this in the video or something, we're taught that there are fundamental differences between races and there aren't it's it's just a, a it's just pigment um and you know location um and any differences there are say culture cultural or whatever um <clears throat> we should embrace those um embrace those differences I think being taught that there are fundamental differences and that there's this huge gap um, <laughs> I mean look at um, I'm sorry but um these things are so crazy right now regarding race at least they seem crazy on social media um, so and I think a lot of people could, you know, do with learning empathy. And I think this uh, race relations are a key um, to gaining some very important empathy and perspective. Um, my favorite meal of all time. Is that like my favorite food or my favorite meal I've ever had? So my favorite food is pizza, but not like. Domino's or Pizza Hut or some crap like good pizza that's actually pretty hard to find here um, you know, there's a restaurant or two that has the style I like and then eh, you know but uh so definitely pizza and I haven't burned myself out on it because there's not enough good pizza available here I would love to go to New York and man they got so much pizza there I watch these shorts, these YouTube shorts, where this couple just goes to all these different pizza joints, and oh my god, it's 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 crazy. But uh, my favorite meal of all time, I mean that's a tough one. Um, I do remember some Rubens my wife made about ten years ago, um, and that was one of the best things I've ever had. They were just just perfect, just perfect. I don't. You know, maybe maybe we need to do that again. All right, uh, favorite movie, book, or show right now? Uh, I mean, I really like uh, prestige television. Um, oh, I miss interests. Okay, we'll go back to that. Uh, one of my interests is prestige television. I love like dramatic shows, really good shows. You know, um, I'm sure. You know, Breaking Bad is up there, I'm sure, for everyone. Um, I just finished rewatching The Sopranos, which is great. Um, I noticed that later I get older, I get the more I cannot stand, like Tony Soprano, for for instance. You know, like everyone loved him when the show first came out, even though he's just a piece of crap. And, um, uh, it really shine through this time how big of a piece of crap that guy is but um i mean that's my f one of my favorite shows i'm also watching rewatching the wire and that's one of my favorite shows it's really really good i love it um i'm reading bag of bones by stephen king stephen king is my favorite author of all time i've been reading him you know for over 30 years and, uh, movie, I don't know. Um, probably my favorite, one of my favorite movies from all time is, uh, Natural Born Killers. 
Um, I love how it exemplifies our fascination with violence in the media and with violence in general. Um, and then of course, like Tarantino movies, um, I've, I love them. I think ever, you know, most film fans do. What made me, <laughs> what made me smile recently? Uh, this question, I, I don't know. Every time I see it, I just, crack a smile it makes me smile but um probably my wife we joke around and um they exchange nonsense a lot a lot I mean we have a really easygoing open relationship where we communicate and and uh our daily interactions mostly you know um consist of just being crazy and fun and joking around and and I'm an optimist and, um, you know, pretty hopeful. Um, so I smile and laugh a lot. It, I, it's not something I can really keep track of because it, it just, it's, it's constant. Um, and now I will go back to interests. Um, music. I, I love music. I, you know, when I was a kid, I'd buy cassettes instead of toys with, with my, you know, like allowance or birthday money or whatever um, I have a record collection a CD collection a cassette collection I don't even have a cassette or CD player um, you know we have Spotify you don't really need physical media but I love physical media and then I collect it and um, I'm really I, I, I have pretty eclectic taste and I have a lot of different stuff in my collection but I'm really really into rap um, mainly indie rap I don't know or follow what goes on in the mainstream. I don't like most of what goes on in the mainstream, but um, I mean, the indie scene in most genres is a an amazing place right now because technology has made, you know, making music and recording music so readily readily available that there's there's so much out there. And it takes work. There's a lot, you know, a lot to go through. And, you, you know, it's stuff that's not on the radio. It's not top 40 you have to dig for it and you have to find what you like and you know follow people and you go down rabbit holes but uh, it's a great hobby it it's expensive too no <laughs> um i sell i sell records to to buy records that's my major interest music that's where most of my free time gets spent um again i love prestige television uh, I game, but I'm not really gaming at the moment. It's kind of off and on now that I'm older. Uh, something good has to come along. Um, an open world Star Wars game just came out. So I think we're about to grab that. Um, I don't know why it's hard to keep eye contact with a video. But I think this is long enough. So again, my name is Kevin. Cool.